380 to 430 horsepower, internally gated, fast spooling, dynamite package for small CC engines, we've got something for you. Welcome back. We have another video for you. We are talking small frame turbochargers. We are talking ball bearing. We are talking around about the 380 to 430 horsepower range mark. Uh, we are talking about an internally gated package that will spool extremely fast and provide some nice punch response on small size engines and produce around about 380 to 430 horsepower. Obviously depending on the engine size and boost pressure that you run. Some of the configuration uh, details on the specific turbo will involve a nice small AR49 T25 flanged inlet housing with a V-band out, internally gated, and uh, we will be having a AR60 T04B family compressor housing with the billet 63mm uh, Exducer 11 main blade compressor. It is a forged material, uh, it's not just your normal uh, it's extruded aluminium. This is a 7,000 grade forged material, which we obviously um, have played around with some of the root dimensions and blade area on the specific compressor design. It, as I said, is dual ball bearing, water cooled, internally gated with a billet actuator, as well as different spring rates and an accessory pack. Let's go a little bit more into the actual details of this turbocharger, and uh, I'll show you some photos and close ups thereof now. Right guys, so here's a turbocharger. We call this a 2563. It's a GTX 2563. We are using a 25 size turbine, which is nothing like the 11 blade unit you'd see on your GT2560. Uh, it is something completely different. Um, and we are using a slightly modified 63 millimeter exducer billet compressor, as I've just explained to you. Here is your billet Actuator, it comes with three different spring rates. Obviously one of the springs is installed as, at the moment and uh, you'll have the option from running around about uh, five PSI all the way up to around about 18 to 19 PSI by obviously changing your springs and the spring rate on the adjustable rod. On your inlet flange, you've got a T25 footprint. Uh, we've taken care to machine the top of this flange uh, due to the bolt size. So you get maximum underhead contact um, and obviously maximum uh, clamping force onto your flange and you've got a V-band out. This all situated inside of your AR49 turbine housing. Now, for those of you that know the G25 series, internally gated housings, you will notice that this is a very, very close design of that, obviously just not in stainless steel. Included in the package, you'll get a multi-layer, three-layer stainless steel MLS gasket, your two springs, your billet oil return fitting with your male return fitting with the Dash 8, AN8 uh, internal structure. You'll notice as well that the mounting holes are slotted so that this will actually fit your T25, T28, GT30 and GT35 style turbochargers. You'll get your water in and water out, one millimeter oil restrictor fitting with your copper nuts, should I say your copper washers, as well as your gasket. This is a steel gasket, as you can see over there, with a uh, gasket material that's infused and obviously uh, stuck onto the top and the bottom surfaces. Mounting bolt, V-band flange and V-band clamp as making this probably one of the most comprehensive or complete little packages that you can get for your small size uh, engine and uh, horsepower ratings from around about 380 to 430 horsepower. Right guys, that's the gist of the 2563 turbocharger. Just to give you a recap, nine blade turbine head, uh, dual ball bearing, water cooled, 67 millimeter exducer, forged milled compressor wheel, 11 main blade, AR60 T04B family compressor housing, AR49 T25 turbine housing with a T25 inlet and a V-band outlet including all of your accessories as well as your billet actuator with different spring rates. This is an awesome product at a great price from Turbo Direct. Uh, we control the quality, all of, these, all of these components that we piece together to build these turbochargers in-house, balance in-house and QC check everything in-house are sourced from around the world. They are not 
cheap Chinese aftermarket products that are just sourced all the way from China and put into a box and hope for the best. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think down below. If there's any questions or comments, post them, like, subscribe. Catch you guys next time.